Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here, coming to you with another video. Today's video is we're going to be rating kid shows from Canada. Some of these shows you probably, uh, most of these shows we have on TV here, and you probably never would have known we're Canadian. But, um, I'm going to read you the list of shows. Um, obviously if I've already rated them in other videos, I'm not going to re-rate them again. But, we're going to do popular Canadian kid-friendly shows. So, most of these first ones I've already rated. We have Caillou, which I didn't know was Canadian. Arthur, Paw Patrol, Cyber Chase, those are all Canadian. Roy Polioli, now that was a good show. That, I'll give an 8, I loved Roy Polioli. Max and Ruby, let's see Johnny Tosh. Angelina Anaconda. I've never even heard of it. Supposedly, it's a show that was on Nick Nickelodeon in the 90s. But I literally have no clue what that is. Mm. Bad Bar the Adventure to Bad Do. Let's see. Oh, the original Franklin. That one was really good. I'll give that an 8. Funny story about Franklin. So, one time... I was in third grade. I was supposed to stay after school with my teacher. And my teacher, the day I was supposed to stay after school with her, I can't remember why I was staying after school. But the teacher forgot that she had a parent teacher, or she had a meeting that day. So she had asked me. So she's like, oh, she's like, I'll take you into like. Because the teacher's offices were like across the hall from where the third grade classroom was. She's like, I'll take you, because, like, the phones in the classrooms would only call, could only call inside the building. Like, you could call the nurse's office, the, you know, different classroom, the principal's office, whatever. But the phone in there, if you dialed, I think, like, 9-9 or whatever, you could call out. You could call an actual phone. So... She took me in and she's like, yeah, she's like, go call your mom and tell her you're not staying after. Let her know you're coming home. Said, I forgot I had a meeting. Well, my mom had just gotten a cell phone. And the school didn't have the number on, and I didn't know the number. And the school didn't have the number on file. And I knew my mom wasn't home. Because I can't remember if it was my great aunt or my great uncle. One of them had had surgery and my mom had taken the other one to go visit. So I knew she wasn't home. And I wasn't supposed to call my dad. For any reason, unless it was a dire emergency. Like, I needed to come get picked up or something, you know? So, I lied. So, I went in there, stood in there for a while, lied, told my mom that I had called, or told my teacher I had called my mom. Got home. Obviously, got home. She wasn't home yet. It was... I want to say, like, fall, because it wasn't super cold, but it was, like, kind of windy and cold. So, it was, like, fall. Back in that day, our glass and porch was still screened in. And we still had stairs. Our back porch was, before he tore it apart, still had stairs and stuff. So, I went up on the back porch, went in to the screened-in porch, and I checked to see if the sliding glass door was open. It was locked. So, I stood out there for maybe a half hour. I really had to go to the bathroom. Because I hated going to the bathroom at school. If I could avoid it, I would. Like, you know, a lot of times I would hold it till I got home. So my mom gets home. Right near the glass door was my great grandpa's desk that my dad has. And this was back when, before I had a cell phone, we still had a house phone for me and whatever. And she was checking messages on the answering machine and I'm banging on the door and she's like what the heck and at this point I'd waited so long I'd peed myself so she puts me in the tub whatever right we had these agendas that had to be read every day and signed and, like the teacher would check to make sure the parents had signed it and whatever because that's how they would like give notes and stuff back and forth to each other 
And she wrote a note explaining what had happened, and I got in trouble. I had to read, or I had to stay in every day, and we had this mail system at our school where you could send letters to, like, other teachers or friends in other classes or anybody in the school building. So I had to stay in every day for, like, a week and write letters to people to mail out. I guess punishment for lying. And you know what my mom does? She doesn't ground me, nothing. She reads me Franklin Gets Lost and gives me this little glass, this little ceramic figure of a girl sitting in a chair reading a book, which I still have to this day. Now, why she had my dad reads me Franklin Gets Lost, I don't know, because I lied. I wasn't lost. I was at my house. I knew where I was. And ever since that day, she made the bus driver wait to make sure that she saw my mom either that she saw someone either in the window or come outside that, you know, like, stay in the driveway or whatever. I was like, I wasn't lost, though. I lied. What was I supposed to do? I'm like, you know, it was like, what was going to happen if I had told the teacher, my mom's not home. She's visiting whoever it was was in the hospital, and I have no way to call. And and she just got a cell phone, and the school didn't have her cell phone number yet. And she didn't put her cell phone number on the form or anything. Like the school, like she hasn't given the office her cell phone number yet, so I have no way to get hold of her to let her know that I'm coming home. Like, what would have happened? I still would have gotten home and no, and I still would have been locked out of my house. No one would have been there. Like, I don't know. But yeah, that's my story about Franklin. Um, okay. Anyways. Sorry for that really long rant. 16. That, I actually was watching for a while on Tubi. I really like that show. We'll give it a 7. Bears and Bears, haven't seen that in forever. I have a whole bunch, I have like the whole little family. Actually, no, I think I got rid of them. I used to have mama, papa, brother, sister. Sister came in a little wagon. I got rid of those. I'll give it, and I used to read the books. I'll give it a seven. Busy Town Mysteries. I don't like that as much as the original Busy Town. I'm going to give that a five. Almost Naked Animals. I actually bought one of these from school, or from the Dollar Tree, and ended up donating it to the daycare, because I hated it so much. It was dumb. I'm going to give it a two. Mm -hmm. Other shows you didn't know that were Canadian? Wild Kratts, Super Y, those are all Canadian. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is Canadian. Ooh, the original Bad Bar, that was good. I liked that. That was good. I'll give that a seven. Ooh, Little Bear. That was our favorite. I used to have a talking little bear that I got from the thrift store that was out of a barn. Um, And that was one of my mom's favorite kind of books to read me. I'll give that a seven and a half. Jane and the Dragon. I don't know if I actually ever saw an episode of Jane and the Dragon. Martha Speaks. That's Canadian. Jacob Tutu, never heard of it. The Spider Sunny Patch, Friends, I've already reviewed that. Not a video. Kid vs. Cat, never heard of it. <sighs> Daniel Tiger Neighborhood, didn't know that was Canadian. I didn't know Big Comfy Couch was Canadian. Um, Inspector Gaddy, didn't know that was Canadian. Reboot, never heard of it. Sheila... Oh, Stella and Sam. Never heard of it. Maggie and the Frozen Beast. Didn't know that was Canadian. Stormhawks. Didn't know that was... Can never heard of it. Willow Wild Willow's Wildlife. Never heard of it. Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. Down in Fraggle Rock. I'll give Fraggle Rock an 8. Radiki Conquer the... 
Kairu. Never heard of it. Magic School Boss. Didn't know that was Canadian. Totally Spies. Mm. I think I saw like half an episode. We're going to give that a 5. Brace Face. I started rewatching that on Tubi. Don't love it as much as I used to. We're going to give that a 6. Being Ian, never heard of it. Captain Flamingo, never heard of it. George of the Jungle, I don't think I ever actually watched that. Legends of Super Evil. That looks weird. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Mona the Vampire, never heard of it. Paddington Bear, I've never seen the cartoon of that. I know the Bucks Bow. And I've seen the first movie. Grow Joe Band, never heard of it. Jimmy Two Shoes, never heard of it. Class of Titan, never heard of it. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. I've seen the non animated version. I bought it for my ex. She used to watch it a lot as a kid because she really liked scary stuff. Um, I didn't like the non animated version. So I don't think I'd like the animated version. Franklin and Friends. I guess that's to be expected because Franklin's Canadian. Camp Lake Bottom. Never heard of it. My Dad the Rock Star. That was kind of dumb. I'll give it a six. Ooh, Ruby Gloom. I love Ruby Gloom. Ruby Gloom. It used to be on Netflix. And me and Daddy started watching it on Netflix. Then me and my girlfriend's brother watch it on Tubi. I'll give it a seven. Okay, let's see. Canadian animated kid friendly shows. Let's see. We have not covered. Anything we have not covered yet? Aha. Just in time. I did not know that was Canadian. Franny Feet. That show is weird. My, um... My daddy, daddy's niece, watches it. I'm going to give that a three. Beast Machine, never heard of it. Ventures of Tintin, never heard of it. Busy World of Richard Scary, I tried to watch that on Tubi. Don't love it as much as I used to, so I'm going to give it a seven. But I loved that show as a kid. Scaredy Squirrel, I've never seen an episode of that. Puka, this is the original Puka, not the crap that's on Netflix. I'm going to give that eight. Not that was Canadian. What is this? The Avengers of Teddy Ruxpin. I didn't know Teddy Ruxpin had a show. Okay, let's see. Canadian kid-friendly YTV shows. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Are You Afraid of the Dark? I've never seen that. Heard of it. Freaky Stories, never heard of it. Sidekick, never heard of it. Pearly, don't know. Flying Rhino Junior High. Interesting. Never heard of it. You guys know some of these shows that I've never heard of? Please tell me about them in the description. George and Martha. Eh. Wasn't really a huge fan of the books either. I'll give it a five. Anamorphous. I didn't know that had a TV show. That was just a book series. Erky Perky. That looks dumb. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Canadian friendly television cartoons. Oh. Teletoon shows. Sorry. Okay, let's see. Is there anything we have not gone over yet? Oh, did you guys know? I didn't mention this about 16, but the title is really ironic. I asked, so I was watching it, as I said, on Tubi with my <clears throat> boyfriend. My boyfriend, yeah. With my sister's brother. And I'm like, do you know why it's called 16? He's like, why? Are they 16? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, but if you look at the title, it's the number six and the word teen. Because there's six teens and they're 16 and they're all working at the mall. He's like, oh, he's like, that's kind of clever. I was like, yeah. Let's see. Okay, here are some new ones we have not covered yet. Splice, never heard of it. 
Ned's new, don't know what that is. Looped, never heard of it. Animal crackers? That looks weird. Okay. Teen and kid friendly PBS kid shows. Okay. Let's see what we have not covered. <clears throat> Ooh, Marvin and the Tap Dancing Horse. I forgot about that show. They were, they were like little mini shows. It was Marvin and the Tap Dancing Horse, Seven Little Monsters, Timothy Goes to School, George Shrinks, Corduroy. I think there might have been a couple other ones. That They were cute. I'll give it a seven. Peg and Cat. I think I've heard of it, but never seen it. Okay. Canadian-friendly Nickelodeon shows. Let's see. What have we not covered yet? We... Ooh, what is this one? We've not covered this. Make it pop. Never heard of it. Okay. Canadian fa Canadian kid-friendly, family-friendly shows. How much sense does that make? Goosebumps. Okay, I tried to... I like the first Goosebumps movie. I have not seen the second one. The only Goosebumps, honestly, I really like are Night of Living Dummy. Because I actually had an experience when I was maybe, I don't think I was in school yet. So I might have been like four. We had this neighbor that lived diagonally across the street from us. Her daughter was the same age as the next door neighbor. So she was a year older than me. And the other one was younger than me. And the older daughter had had a birthday party we were all playing in their playroom their playroom which was in the attic we're out playing on one side of the room and on the other side of the room she had this ventriloquist dummy the dummy was moving we're playing and we look over and the dummy's moving first we think it might just be the wind or whatever but the window's not open like then we checked to make sure everyone you know and then we thought it was like a prank we checked. None of her friends were missing. Her little sister was there. Everyone was there. We start freaking out. We run downstairs. You know, we... I'm like, it's gotta be... We think it's some kind of prank or whatever. Her mom, her grandma, and her dad were all in the kitchen cooking. We run outside. And we're standing in the backyard. And from the attic window, you still see the dummy in the window moving. It was the most bizarre thing. Mom wouldn't let me go over there for the longest time after. My mom claimed evil spirits and crap. She also freaked out on my little sister when we were babysitting for them. We were babysitting her. And she had come over and spent, you know, and like, it was like nap time, whatever, because she was little. And she left her Esmeralda doll. Um, if you don't know who Esmeralda is, she's the gypsy from Hunchback of Notre Dame. My mom was anti-gypsy. My mom claims that never happened. She never said that. My dad's like, I perfectly remember that. It was funny because this guy, one of my mom's family friends, one of my mom's friends, she was friends with like the family, whatever. We had like a long thing with the family. They went to our church. He worked at the Christian bookstore, the, the dad. And he used to call, he used to say charmed, I'm sure, and like try and kiss my hand and stuff all Prince Salem so every time he see me. And he called me Esmeralda, just embarrass me. And then one of the local antique shops that we used to go to all the time before the son took it over after he died. He used to call me Esmeralda and they didn't even know each other, which was super weird. I don't look anything like Esmeralda. My mom used to say that I looked like um, Molly from the American Girl Dolls. But yeah, that's my story with that. Okay, what other shows are on here? So yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, I didn't write Goosebumps, sorry. I've read the first two Goosebumps, uh, Night of Living Dummy books. And I've seen the Night of Living Dummy episode. I'm gonna give it a... F six. No, I'm gonna give it a five. Okay, what else? Oh, we already did that one. Whoops. Whoops, whoops. Okay. 
Canadian Kid Friendly Treasure House Tree House TV show. Okay, let's see which ones have we not covered yet. Uh, uh, uh. I'm covered all those. Okay, Canadian Kid Friendly Cartoon Network shows. Okay, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Oh my God, hated that show. Wasn't allowed to watch it anyways. But it was dumb. I give it a one. Some of these shows that they say are Cartoon Network shows are not Cartoon Network. Arthur was never on Cartoon Network. That makes me mad. And Canadian Kid Friendly Cubo shows. I forgot all about Cubo. Because we didn't really have Cubo here in New York. But, like, when we go on vacation and stuff, I'd see it on, like, TV and whatever. Let's see. And we covered all those. Okay, well, that's it for Canadian Kid shows. I'm going to go take a bathroom break and possibly make some more videos for you guys. Bye.